Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. We're picking up after uh, trouncing on our Queen of Smiles in the last episode. We find ourselves at the Village of Smiles Sanctuary. Is there anything we could be upgrading right now? I'm thinking um, maybe our Arming Sword needs 500 salt. And we don't have enough locks of hair. Okay, so that's, that's not happening. Um, in... In which case, I guess we uh, we should just be getting a move on then. Keep your wits about you. Yeah, that's that's a thing that I will be doing. We're full on flasks. We have the sort of filthy, disgusting flasks of the three right now. I would love to get a little bit more of Devara's light in my life, but uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. And I think this is this this is the way forward. Or have I, have I gotten completely turned around? Nope, this is new. Okay. A um, little bit of uh, dark creepiness in that general direction. Let me check out this way first, as it seems a little more normal. Alright. Okay, so this was... Is this like right after... No. I, I've, I've turned myself around entirely. Directional senses failing. Yeah, this was the the boss fight area. Okay, so we came down here. We opened the shortcut. Previously, uh, right on the other side of that white light was a closed gate. We opened it up so we could get back to the sanctuary. We have not gone down or to the right. There is a door here. There is a door that we opened here. Okay. Um... This is new and eerily quiet. Um, I mean, I'm no Superman. Oh, we can go down. Okay. A blood flower charm. Uh, I remember there's a space for charms. Okay, so on our loadout, we can equip a charm. A metal charm painted red. The blood flower plant has long been used as a red pigment in dyes and paints, but the superstition tying it to bloodlust is relatively recent. Warriors may don blood flower painted arms, but a dress dyed in blood flower would be considered to be in poor taste. Increases attack power. Okay. Oh, neato. We like we attached it to like the the, uh, the pommel of our sword. That's actually quite cool. Um. Okay, I can make that jump, but I think I think that's all that's down here. Unless I uh, later gain an ability to fly. I don't think we're heading off to the left at all. So, let's head back, and that leaves right as the, uh, the only possible option, I believe. Well, no, uh, that leaves up and right, or down and right. Okay. Another one of these... Mysterious obelisk things, and again, unless we soon gain the ability to fly, I don't really want to take that that leap. I'm not seeing anything in there that looks like firm ground. What is the uh, what is the deal with the obelisks? It's it's mostly a rhetorical question. Like I I enjoy. Both uh, Dark Souls and Salt and Sanctuary's propensity for making you sort of mysteriously figure out how things are working. Also, that's a real cool, like, spooky cave sound. Um, okay. A little bit of, little bit of light. If you were disappointed that Dark Souls 2 was not dark enough, that Salt and Sanctuary has you covered. Oh, but there is... That's an enemy, right? Like down below us. Yeah, he's got a bow in his hand. There's got to be some way to get down there. Maybe we're going that way, of course. Um, okay. A little little man to talk to up there. Or... Is that where we're heading? Oh, okay. Lever. Lever. Whichever you prefer. A haymaker. And a bundle of salt. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't see the little, like, 
I'm pretty sure it's the sign that this that it's a boss. The little kind of candelabra uh, is not right there, but that guy doesn't look friendly. Um, let's go. Let's go see the guy who did look friendly, and then we'll explore this path a little bit more. Boy, traveler, well met. Call me Fern. I've been hiding out here for some time. Seen any trinkets? I lost a small pouch of earth. Yes, needs a bag of earth. Okay, we don't have a bag of earth. No, that's a shame. Okay then. So, Fern needs a bag of earth, which is, haha, <laughs> that's very punny. But I'm trying to remember that for inevitably when I find a bag of earth and go, but what is this for? Oh, well, it's, it's suddenly bright and sunny out here. We got, we got a forest, we got some trees, uh, we got more guys with bows, and some loot up there. <sighs> okay. Oh, no, 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 let go of him. Ugh. That was not okay. <sighs> oh, I see you. I do. Um, I don't... I don't really think I need that right now. Let's uh, let's see if I can make this work. Yeah. See, he was attached to that tree. I just didn't spot him. Oh wow, we do like very poor damage to these guys, but they uh, we do not have much health, so it worked itself out. And the guy with the bone arrow was kind enough to come down to me. Uh, so this. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. I'm like. This seems like a big area. I always, you know, I always worry in in games like this. Oh, not again. Oh, more arrows. More arrows. I always worry that I'm going... Jeez. I, like, unblocked for just a moment. And your roll is out of control, friend. Ugh. Okay. Hey, actually, that red shard is probably warranted. I always worry that I'm going the right way, you know, that like, oh, there's a little side path and it's got loot down it. And I instead chose the actual correct way to go for forward progress, which led me to not finding the fancy loots. So we know we had, there was like a big guy and then there was another door of light all back in those caves near Fern. Ooh, a mossy charm. What's a mossy charm do? Increases attack speed. Do we want to do more damage or we want to do it faster? I think uh, I think doing more damage is probably more in line with the the paladin style, right? Yeah, probably. A mossy charm is a cleverly crafted quote unquote living charm. Its wood core is infused with an earthen paste on which living moss grows. Increases attack speed. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I, uh, I want to remember to go back there eventually, but let's see where this place is taking us for now. Uh, we can't jump high enough to get up there. There's another white light over there. All right. Hmm. Oh, we can jump high enough to get there. Antidote times three. Yeah, we have uh, kind of already been introduced to poisonous enemies in this area. That was a very fancy leap, my friend. And, ooh, crimson culottes, gloves, uh, something in hood, I believe. Um, okay, let's check this stuff out in the light of day. Crimson hood, an elegant cloth hood. Ooh, that is rather elegant. I'm just going to look at this stuff. An elegant cloth vest, it was a crimson tabard. Gotcha. It won't do much good against physical attacks, but its magical enchantments make it a powerful ward against elemental danger. Well, that's neat. And I'm barefoot. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, we're going to get back into our paladin gear, except I prefer the rogue's mask. And also, we didn't look at this uh, the haymaker. A tool intended for moving grass and harvesting crops, but often modified for fighting by the destitute and the wicked alike. 
distinct among agricultural devices as a universally recognized symbol of death, and indeed a capable makeshift weapon with its razor edge and unmistakably fearsome silhouette. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Of course, uh, I lack the skills to use it, so I get the uh, kind of Dark Souls 2 really inept swing. Nice. Okay, uh, we'll stick with our arming sword for now. It's weird that that, that breaks. Huh. Um, we've got some skull bats over here. Oh, my. Um, that swing was a little off. Okay. Let's uh let's maybe see about getting back to where we we're going. Oh every time that's that's real precarious. Now we can head that way or this way. Oh, is this like it feels like it's meeting back up with uh where we're coming from. I wonder if the game world is like actually consistent. Um uh, how to explain that. Or if, you know, when we travel through some of these white lights, do we uh, effectively teleport? Or am I really, like, above and to the right of where I was earlier? Because it feels like we're, we're kind of heading back into maybe territories we've already been to. Looks like there's a shield break that we can perform on those guys sometimes. We get the prompt to uh, repost when we have not parried them. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Knight. Speaking of carrying them, looks like we're gonna get to practice that a bit more. Oh, that was that was real smart. Haha! -ha! Oh, I couldn't get it off. There we go. Oh, that feels so satisfying. I'm gonna say that probably another hundred times, but it does every time feel so satisfying. Something about how much they've turned up the uh, the rumble pack for the dual shot. It's like the most epic earthquaking kind of uh, thing. Also, you may notice I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting better at this anyway. Let's see if I can do this without eating my words and just carry this guy into death. Really, there we go. Like, how many times do we need to do this? A conduit of mind. And 500 salt. Won't uh, deny that. Okay. Bond of Extreme Focus. It allows its wearer to maintain spellcasting ability past the point of normal exhaustion. Locks minimum stamina to one third. Okay. So that would be like really good if you were a spellcaster. Because uh, if you can get your stamina to go all the way to zero by. Oh, we got a stone leader there. By uh, using. Uh, mana over and over again, even though you can re replenish mana easily, you're quickly going to find yourself uh, sort of paralyzed with your lack of stamina. And at least, you know, a third of normal is not great, but it's something. Aha! I will continue to use their own traps against them. Please stop shooting at me. I have some arrows to pick up, apparently. Uh, and there we go. Nice. Okay, now we're back in the Village of Smiles. Now, um, I do not recall this area. There, I recall that. Okay, I remember this ladder. We came down it. We went that way. There was a creepy guy we talked to. I have totally been here before. Okay. So I didn't take this path, and this is where I would have ended up had I. And I've been up there. That was just some loot. Let's see... Hmm. What? That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Let's see what is this way. Looks like I'm kind of above the forest now, right? And don't stop for nothing. Nice. Hmm. I think I can make it to that. Like, if I wait for the ledge to respawn. Ugh. <sighs> That's a little dicey. Um, let's... Maybe we think about that if we come back and are going the other direction. Pumpkin patch. Gray pearl. 
Great Pearl. Is I'm, I noticed from just the design that that may be the uh, the item that removes skills, so you can kind of respect yourself. That's my expectation, at least. Oh boy, we got a ghastly gourd as well. And man, you guys have a lot of help. Okay. Oh, that's fun. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see if we can block it. Shield up. Not really. No, no. Okay. Um. Ah. Ah. Oh, no. I traded to the Granado and then panic healed and it didn't. Oh. That felt terrible. Okay. Tell you what. Um. I'm actually not going to go that way back. Let's go... Wait, where are we? Let's try this way. I'm not... Yeah, we're just like right here. Okay. We made no progress. Well, we at least uh, figured out a little bit of our game world, right? And you get to die. I'd say it's probably a good chance that the crossbow killed him. <sighs> okay, we will try this again. Okay. Oh, that's real tense. Oh, that's uh, okay. We're fine. It's all fine. Um, we have a fire pot. Hmm. Ew. Like, okay. Yeah, I'm assuming that is, that is what was happening there. I saw some weird smoky thing floating in the air. Uh, and then these guys got up. Oh, man. The reach on that guy. Seriously, like, have you ever considered baseball? That was amazing. We have almost stun locked you. I think I can actually pull this off. <laughs> hey man, if you're not cheesing it, you're not doing it right. Of course, another one spawning right behind us doesn't help. Okay, okay. Oh, really? <sighs> he was off screen. Completely off screen. Yeah, and that still caught us. Let's heal for a moment, please. Man. Okay. We're down to one. Oh, we're down to none. I feel like I can pretty confidently stun them. Bag of salt. Bundle of salt. And that's it. This was just... This was a dead end. I did get a gourd. Um, which is not listed there. Oh! The ghastly gourd. The carved gourd. Its flesh has been sealed into a thick arcane fabric, rendering it an effective, if curious, piece of armor. The Mad Queen, Lanaya, was as bloodthirsty as she was eccentric. And one of her better known peculiarities was her mortal fear of gourds. I wonder. So do you think the, the Mad Queen... Oh man, it's heavy. It's real heavy. Um, the Mad Queen Lanaya, was that the Queen of Smiles? And if so, would perhaps uh, us wearing the ghastly gourd into the fight with her accomplished anything different? I wonder. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna go for this. Maybe against my better judgment. Oh, no way. No. Oh, we're just right here. Okay. In fact, yeah, we're, we're like just right here. Oh, I was so scared. All for nothing. Ha <laughs> Um. All right. That actually like was was kind of interesting. It it was an effective means of keeping me apprehensive uh, about the fall, but then I was not 
actually punished for it. I believe we have not yet gone this way. And I almost did the exact same thing I did last time against those bats. And uh, plunging attacked right oh, to the ground. That time. Okay. Oh, oh my. Did, did you want to come and play with us? Oh, seriously? Now, please stop that. There you go. Ugh. You guys are a little flimsy, at least. Um, Vile Hawk's Ear. Kind of kind of checking out below. It looks like there is a platform down there. Jump up. Ooh. Ooh. We can climb in the branches and find a bundle of salt and a stone mage. I do, of course, uh, need to be using these stone idols a little bit more. Perhaps, if we're lucky, could we find a Sanctuary of Devara before too long? And I would like to kind of deck it out. Oh, boy. There we go. Three more antidotes. We haven't... I mean, the poison is like... Eh. I haven't... Have I been poisoned? Have I been, like, fully poisoned at all? I don't think so. Like, most of the attacks just almost poison you. You would have to then get hit by another to sort of uh, go the distance. And I, I have managed to not do that. Wow. You guys are super damage resistant. Over leaf. Do you have some stuff down there? Let's see what's going on up here. Uh, Mr. Slimy Man. Hi. Oh, okay. I, I pressed the block button. I didn't just stand there doing nothing. And I think I finally got myself poisoned. That's what you get for talking trash. A bullwhip. Okay, okay. I actually don't... Uh, I don't think this is doing much to us. Yeah, like look at that. We have the ring that is constantly regenerating us, and it just regenerates us a tiny, tiny amount, but the poison also just sort of damages us a tiny, tiny amount. So... Let's maybe kill you. Okay. Okay, more. Ugh. I couldn't recover from the fall. Like... I landed hard and then could not move immediately. That was unfortunate. Yep. Hello, salt monster thing. Thank you. Alright, so at least got that back. Bag of salt. Also away in that general direction. Um, you know... Okay, there is some stuff to grab over here. Maybe plenty of stuff. A soldier's poem. Oh, we also got to drop down. And the uh, the Soldier's Poem is a crafting item. It's like whatever is more advanced. Seriously. Please, please let go of me. It's whatever is more advanced than the uh, Lock of Care, I believe. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Um, We can do it. Thank you. A Bright Coral Ring. I feel like... The items are coming fast and furious. Item find rate, wounding effect is reduced, increased salt, regenerate HP. Those are all so good though. I mean, willpower is all fine and dandy, but I like the other stuff a lot. Let's roll that wing. Oh, I can't. So it looks like we're going to need to go one way or the other. I don't like that way as much. Actually, I haven't really been that way, have I? Yeah, there's another one of you. Huh. Oh! Oh, yeah, I remember this way. Okay. Um... Probably shouldn't risk poison. I was like, maybe we can just dash. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, maybe we could just dash under them. And indeed we could have, but instead I chose to face it head on and regret it later. Okay, thank 
Thank you for dying. Oh, really? Just, I was out of stamina for blocking? That seems like a thing that could have happened. Hmm. Can I get back up by going this way? Ugh. Can I? Ugh. Can I? Ugh. No, I can't. Okay. Um, yeah, again with that. Fun. You do actually get to uh, button match to get them off of you faster, which I found it the hard way when I gave up earlier and it uh, was enough to poison me with just a single one. But yeah, that's where I was. So I can come down from there, but I can't get back up there. Uh, I swear. These guys are not invisible. I can see them if I just look. Hmm. Okay, looks like that is just a, a loot dead end, and then the true path is the way we were going earlier. Fair enough. Was it worth it? Who knows? Time will tell. Oh, thank you. The one-two punch of slime and arrow was truly, truly remarkable. Thank you. Oh, less thank you. Okay. Oh, man. You guys are everywhere. Thank you. Oh, really? Didn't manage to kill him that last time. Okay. Uh, we're back on the path at the top. And slimy guys up there. Don't really care about anymore. I got the loot from them. What about slimy guy right here. They also have... Suspended eyeballs in the slime? Is that a thing? Is that what I'm seeing there? If so, that's not okay, guys. You shouldn't be stealing eyeballs and suspending them in gelatin like that. Hmm. Well, it definitely managed to pin down the creepy woods atmosphere pretty well. Kudos on that, Ska Studios. A stone cell sword. Again, reminding me I really should use some of those stone idols. Of course, we have yet to... Oh, man. <laughs> we have yet to find ourselves with a new sanctuary. Although I did just remember we left one of these guys uh, alone earlier. Are you... Are you like a nice giant thing with a big nasty weapon? Um, Nope. Nope, not a nice thing with a big nasty... Oh, God. Weapon. Thank you for not killing me in one hit, big man. Uh, let's see if we are just safe up here. I think we're just safe up here. Ambush, and then chest below. Oh, boy. There was indeed an ambush. Oh, come on! I was raring back to hit him. Okay, that's a boss fight. Crazy creature ahead. Yeah, yeah, that's a boss fight. Okay, okay. <sighs> Down it is then. I suppose, uh... Oh, man, that is some gnarly breath. Dude, for real. This is why you don't have friends. I'm assuming he doesn't have friends. Maybe he has a lot of friends. Maybe he's a really nice guy. Could be a really excellent Brit... Oh, bridge player. His poison was way worse, which I noticed shortly before I died, which was why I started running away to try to heal. <sighs> and I'm also assuming I really don't want to fight this guy, but... Oh, yep, yeah, that hurt. Thank you. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Can I block here? Ah, the poison. Yeah, that poison is bad poison. Uh, antidote, please. Whoa. That poison is real bad poison. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> well, I basically jumped right into the path of that. Oh, my. 
Hmm. Bit of a standoff we have here. Um, perhaps you'd like to turn around and go the way... Oh, you came. Ah. Oh, takes more than just a hit to kill you. Oh, boy. Round two? Or three? What are we up to now? Okay. <laughs> You know, what's over here? Oh, of course. If I had just gone like 10 feet to the right, I could have found a sanctuary and all of this could have been prevented. Yeah, that feels real good. Real good. We now have a red grass. Lovely. I'm not looking to. Let's actually take the oath of stone roots. You will denounce Tavara's light and become an apostate. I'm not really interested. In denouncing the Lady of Light. A stranger comes to this mossy belly of a tree. No worries, I'll set you straight. Have you ever met a woods wraith? Uh, no, I have not. Well, 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 I'm a stone root, or as some call me, a woods wraith. For thousands of years, we've stayed in the forest. Our allegiance has always been to the spirits of the woods. Men have invented, praised, and died for countless fleeting gods and demons. But our forest is forever. The worst of our reputation most likely comes from our love of poisons. But, my friend, poison is a wondrous thing. Poison, like the forest, seeps through the realm of man, spreading, corrupting, invading, until all is reduced to earth. Man is truly a wretched thing, and the forest is committed to expunging him from existence. But woods race protect the forest. So the forest protects us. You want to be a woods ray? Want to cast off the shackles of false gods and bask in the poisonous shadows of the forest? Approach the altar. Take the oath. Nope, nope, nope. Not gonna, not gonna do it. Okay. So I guess the uh, they will not deal with me, and I can't offer anything either. Hmm. I would, of course. Be able to level up. Okay, yeah, and uh, I'm assuming that pearl we got earlier would allow us to remove a skill point. Uh, as we have a one up there. Not really much for me to do in, uh, in this little sanctuary, is there? That door is locked. Clearly where we're going to be going after this boss. Well... With so little to lose and my respawn so close by, let's deal with this big guy and at least find a little redemption. Of course, well, it didn't quite poison me until then, and then it poisons me. Um, oh man, that is bad. Yeah, so that's the problem. If he, uh, Oh, come on! I can't... I can't get back on the ledge now. Well, okay, I can do that, though. You want to maybe... If I don't rest, does, does everything not reset? Or does it reset because I come in here? I think it resets because I rest. I, I literally can't get on the ledge. Okay, so I can't jump off if I, uh, if I intend to kill him. I've got to stay up there. That's fair. Let's do this. Now, man, the real problem is once he uh, poison breaths at me, he kind of cuts off one side of himself because uh, if. I roll through him, and then he attacks, and where do I roll then? I roll through him again, I end up on the other side of him, and I'm standing in a poison cloud. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Okay. I also can't fight you over at the edge, because if I roll through you, I am going to end up off the side. So I have got to stay in the middle here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that stunk. You. Okay. It wasn't so bad. 
Only 200 salt for my trouble. Ugh. All right then. Well, let's go ahead and reset. Maybe we should make our way up to that boss. Uh, it's still not enough right now, 1200. That's what I thought. Okay, okay. Certainly some, uh, oh, you've gotta be kidding me. It's not even a mini boss, it just respawns? Okay, okay. Well, that feels a little silly. Just a little silly. <sighs> hmm. Ooh, I can see him over there. Looks like he's wearing a, like a plague doctor's mask. Hmm. Perhaps he plagues us. We have gotten some antidotes here. Tell you what. We've got healing. We've got... We've got... Light vessel. Some throwing daggers, some antidotes, some red shards. Try something like this. Hmm. No time like the present. The Mad Alchemist. Alright. Let's see what's so mad about you. Not like the TV show. No. Oh, okay. Okay. He alchems. I gotcha. That's, that was actually pretty cool. Oh, that's less cool. Okay. Okay. I have somehow managed to remain largely uninjured through all of that. But it was very intimidating. Ah, uh, Yeah. 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 Okay. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Not so bad, really. I say as though I've never played this video game before and have no idea that that will come back to bite me. Uh, 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 uh. I basically got him trapped in the corner here. Until he leapt out of the corner, of course. Oh, please let go of me. Oh, please let go of me. Oh, come on! Ah, I just wanted to heal. Ooh, Mr. Gordy Man. Ah, yeah, I mean, if the, uh, the number of slimes build up down there, it certainly makes falling down there basically a death sentence. Ow. And, and... And I'm taking way more damage this time. That's lovely. Okay. Oh. Oh, the pain. And I'm on fire. Um, and I don't love the, the slimes. And fire. Oh, and I can't hit the guy. I need him to be up here. Well, ask and you shall receive... I was clearly not paying enough attention to my health. I didn't even realize it was low. And that time the mad alchemist has stolen my salt. The alchemist has our salt. I did actually notice something uh, re-watching one of my previous videos. Um, the boss has his health meter, and if you'll look, there is a notch on it that we are just about to reach. And when we do, that is actually the point we regain our salt. You don't have to beat the boss um, if you're going to die to them repeatedly. You uh, you just have to get them below a certain point. Oh boy. I need to be healing. Oh, I, I pressed it and then I started getting hit by all the stuffs. Yeah. So you don't have to beat them, you just need to get... Um, what is it, like a fourth of their health down? Something like that. That's not too bad. I may be a little salty about that, but it's, you know, only right in this game. Okay, I don't like those things. They, they lightning bolt at us. Everything else has been not too bad, but the... I feel like the lightning bolts are when I die. Or... In one case, uh, it might have been... Oh, please heal. It might have been more getting trapped by all the slimes. Although it more prevented me from healing as much as it uh, actually was the thing killing me. Oh, again with you. 
Okay, that's that was a bit painful. Let's maybe consider healing. Oh, we're like barely coming through this alive. Not anymore, we're not. Okay, it gets pretty frenetic there. Hmm. Well, that was with me blocking, and I had just used a red grass. And I can't survive that. So, my option becomes, I can't get hit by that stuff. Which means, I'm a giant paladin with super heavy armor and weapons and shields. <sighs> Maybe that's not the best build for this fight. Remember the, uh, the last fight where I was like, man, if you didn't have a shield, this would be terrible. Good thing that I'm a paladin. Alright. I don't think my shield's doing too much for me here. Let's race in with a spear, all two-handed like, and see what we can do with this. We've got longer range, we've got good damage. Yeah, okay, that's fun. Oh, please roll. Thank you. Oh, not good. Please heal. Please also get off of me. Thank you. Getting super overzealous on my stamina usage here. Yeah, yeah, okay. You triple bladed thing, you can stay way over there. Maybe consider some antidotes going away, and some of this, and some of that, and please go. Oh god. Ugh. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Okay, don't go down below. Um, that's that's my new strategies. All right, so let's uh, let's maybe stay up here. See if he wants to join us up here. What do you say? Oh yeah, thank you. Okay, decent damage. Uh, until that happened. Oh, get off me! Thank you. Red grass. Red grass. Oh wow, he actually uh, managed to drop all of his things like off the edge. Are you kidding me with this right now? Okay. Ugh. Again with the super frenetic. Wow. Wow. Oh, that is a cool combo that I've just learned I can do, by the way. Yes! Aren't I the bow staff master? Alright, so he's again got the kind of poison that's like serious poison. Ugh. <laughs> Please stop doing so much damage. That's all I'm asking, really. One, two, spin, spin! Okay. It's a uh, light attack, light attack, heavy attack, and if I have enough stamina, I can follow that up with another attack, but uh, that doesn't happen so often. Alright, some more gel. Let's get a little bit of healing. Maybe get an antidote ready. Oh, that's not... Okay, maybe, maybe not. Maybe get off of me. I'm dead. <laughs> Hmm. Well, at least my spear can catch him with a plunging attack from up here. That's kind of cool. I'm unfortunately poisoned. That's less cool. I am now taking massive amounts of damage. That's even less cool. Alright. He has not yet entered his most dangerous phase. I have taken a ton of wounding, however. Come here. Get over here. Ah, uh, seriously? Oh, man. Please, enough with that. Okay. Ow. Ow. The pain. Cool. 
Yeah, no, I, I should not come down here with the slides. That's just a bad idea waiting to happen. Maybe I shouldn't even come up here with the slimes. Okay. I'm thinking maybe it's not so much a up and down kind of thing, but like a left and right kind of thing. Maybe I can attract his attention over to one side of the map and then back over to the other, and that will keep me alive. <laughs> Maybe I should be uh, concerned oh, man, with killing the slimes and like not letting them hang out and build up like they do. Ow. Okay, this is going to be painful. Yep, yep, that's me dying. That's me dying a lot. Well, okay then. You remember when I started fighting this boss? I had like 2,500 gold. Yeah, I remember that. I remember those times. They were good times. Before we knew the horror of the Mad Alchemist. Okay, I like him being over here. I think I think over here is good. I think I should just be like letting my stamina bar regen for a second, and so I can lay into combos like that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Okay, we're on fire. We're dead. It all started with you, my foul mouth friend. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have gotten to that sanctuary with lots of salt and just leveled up and called it quits. But no. It had to come to this. <sighs> okay, get off me. Yeah, get off me again, please. Thank you. We'll just yeah okay enough of that thank you and the poison's doing a pretty decent job too over here friend I wonder if we stand with our our back up against the edge oh boy will he just throw all of his uh, little vials past us right Man. Okay. Yeah, that's enough of that. Thank you. <sighs> Come here. Come up here. I want to play with you. Oh, I don't want to play with those things, though. Yeah, I don't want to play with poison either. That's not fair. Wow. Uh, drank an antidote, immediately got poisoned again. Oh, jeez. I mean, I can... I can sometimes damage them through here. Alright. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Oh, please roll through. Thank you. I did it. I made it to the other side. Okay, okay. Oh, rolled right into the fire. Nice.
so good was it worth it almost certainly not uh we got 63 49 in salt that's pretty pretty stellar unfortunately uh we also paid uh, about 1800 gold black pearl makes me feel a little better and a mossy key for our trouble that would have been a really bad time to have not made that jump Oh my god. All right. So it needed to be a mix of really aggressive and really sort of patient play. And what I mean by that is you needed to wait for that sort of perfect storm of all the patterns and his attacks and summons and blah all being in the right place on the screen and then you just had to take the moment and strike at least that's how i felt about it i am exhausted who knows how long this video will be i'm probably going to try to uh training montage it a little bit and uh maybe not make you guys suffer through all the same pain that i have <sighs> but uh, that's that's going to do it for this. We'll come back in the next episode. I've got salt to spend. I've got a key to use. We do have some branching paths back the other way. Maybe I should go explore first before moving on. Maybe this area was not meant for me. Uh, certainly, this was a very challenging boss, at least for the build that I had today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to subscribe. More videos on the channel every day. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other videos, and I will catch you guys next time.